Good morning, ESM. So a couple weeks ago, John and Luke went over some good Halloween costumes. So per tradition, keeping with the negative side of things, uh, we're going to talk about some bad Halloween costumes. Uh, but more on that after news and announcements. Ryan Rondry remains found. FBI Discover Office confirms today that the remains found in Florida yesterday were Brian Laundrie's. The remains were all found along with several of his personal belongings. Laundrie has been suspect in the death of his fiancée, Gabby Petito, but for now he is not classified as the murderer. The police are being extremely careful, but careful with his notebook, believing that could hold some vital information in the case. Actor Alec Baldwin reportedly shot the director of photography with a prop gun, the set of his new movie Rust. He also injured the director while this tragedy is not unheard of, is an uncommon event. One other notable instance where this occurred is the filming of the movie The Crow where Bra Brandon Lee, son of Bruce Lee, was also shot with a prop gun and later died. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. <laughs> the ESM PTO uh, roundtable is collecting clean and gently used winter wear apparel for a district-wide winter wear exchange. There is a blue bin in the front lobby for all items to be dropped off. The winter wear exchange will take place in the East Syracuse Elementary School cafeteria on November 3rd from 3 to 6 p.m. All district families are welcome to come and pick out any items for their family needs free of charge. If you have any questions about this, see Ms. Recor in the welcome booth. We want Halloween to be safe and fun for all Central High School students and staff. Here are the guidelines uh, for Friday, October 29th, 2021. COVID masks must be worn in school. If you choose to participate in the morning show parade, you may remove your COVID mask when you cross the stage for the camera, then put it back on immediately. If you choose to dress in a sports themed non-baseball -ba bat, no hockey sticks, no golf clubs, etc., may be brought to school. Also, no cleats or spikes may be worn in the building. No weapon of any kind, real or fake, no spikes, no chains, no ropes may be brought to the school. To bring even a fake weapon to school, even on Halloween, may result in disciplinary action. Makeup, hair dye, sunglasses, and hats are permitted as long as they are not dangerous or disruptive. Hats and sunglasses must be taken off in the classroom. No clothing or props that, dis that display drug or alcohol abuse. If you wear a mini skirt or mini shorts, you must wear tights underneath. No costume may be worn that will prevent, that will prevent you from learning and fully preparing you for the day's activities. Please use good judgment. If you have any questions, please check with your assistant principal before Halloween. If your costume is deemed inappropriate, your parents will be asked to bring proper clothes to the building for you to pick up. Are you a senior looking for volunteer hours? Then Kids Night Out is the opportunity for you. This event will be taking place on Friday, November 5th from 6 to 9 p.m. If you are interested, please sign up on the sign-up sheet, which is hanging in the main lobby on the bulletin board near the auditorium. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hart in room E06. That was a lot of announcements. It was. So starting it off, uh, if you dress as any video game character that was popular, like more than a year ago just don't do that this includes fortnite among us and other ones like uh squid games uh and for my pick i'm gonna have to say um yes please just stop wearing the big inflatable costumes you like that t-rex it was funny for a little bit like in middle school but it really gives off like i'm a main character vibes and it's yeah. just not a good look more on it after weather Today will be mostly cloudy and rainy with a high of 54. 
This weekend will stay in the mid to lower 50s with scattered rain showers. The rest of the week is looking to be mostly rainy with highs in the mid 50s, but it will warm up on Thursday. I'm Gabby with your weather. So I think we were a little harsh in our last segment, so here are some good ones. Uh, no. Uh, don't wear the dumb-looking glow-up purge masks. All right, I guess we're staying negative yeah, then. Yeah, no, they just don't look good. They, yeah, they're pretty dumb. Uh, any big food costumes also are not a good... It's just kind of lazy. You could totally have thought of something better. Like, if you got that much money to spend on a costume, just do it on something shopper. good. It's so easy. Uh, speaking of uh, food, on to sports. Cleveland Browns beat the Denver Broncos last night, 17-14. Third string running back Dearness Johnson had a total of 172 yards and one touchdown in his first career start. In the NBA, the Golden State Warriors beat the Los Angeles Clippers 115-113 last night. Steph Curry had a bounce back game after putting up 21 points on opening night. He had a 45 point performance last night. The Los Angeles Dodgers fight to live another day as they won game five last night, beating the Atlanta Braves with a score of 11-2. Chris Taylor had three home runs on the night. The Orange will play Virginia Tech on Saturday at 12.30. In upcoming news, the gymnastics team has their sectionals match this morning in Utica at 10. The girls soccer team plays Auburn tonight at 5 for their sectional game. The boys soccer team plays Cortland at 7 for their sectional game. Tomorrow, the boys volleyball team has a home game against Living Ward Academy at 10. And, and uh, on Sunday, the field hockey team has an away game at 3 against New Hartford. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, that's all we got for today. Make sure to pick good and unique costumes. And for me, Kai, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, stop, stop wearing, wearing Harley, Harley Quinn, Quinn costumes. costumes.